Conmigo. Give me an intro for the vlog. Um, no sé, man. <laughs> a ver, Evans, ¿cómo estás? A ver. Bien, bien, bro. Aquí contentos porque ya llegamos aquí al hotel. Entonces vamos a estar mañana gozosos ahí. All right, so let me tell you what's going on. So I'm in the bathroom. But uh, I got a text right now from a good friend, Emma Grace. A request for a vlog. Hey, can you guys be quiet for a sec? I'm trying to make a vlog. Voy a estar haciendo un vlog aquí en Indiana. Pónganle like al video, comenten y suscríbanse a este canal para ver videos apostólicos. Subscribe, like and comment for more videos and a whole bunch of apostolic content. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Well, you guys will probably see some goofy clips, but see you guys. If they ask you what I am, tell them that I'm apostolic. You have it right, that's right, I'm apostolic. Snapper fly is gonna get you. You don't be careful now. God, Mr. Is it just me? What? Or d does he look like Shrek when he turns into a human? Who? Oh. Evans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all ready for this? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know you're up a like when you gotta get up. Really, really early, so you can get ready for church. I think I'm the first one awake. We gotta hurry up, or we're gonna be late. <laughs> Wake up. You know you're apostolic when you prank your buddies at the hotel. You know you're apostolic when you gotta iron your clothes in the morning, because you didn't do that last night. Pull out our prayers, it's your prayer. In all the I can't even see the sun. We are ready for the conference. And uh, we just cleaned up our room, kind of, sort of. Yo, Umar, uh, uh, tell us something that's apostolic. Um, well, we're just all fancy. We're not showing no skin. True. Well, sure, your hand skin. Oh, dang it. Dude, I gotta cover that. I'm sorry. You I'm did. so sorry. Dude, blur it out, man. Blur it out. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. <laughs> How was church today? It was hmm. good. It was good? It was How was good. your worship today? Oh. Oh. <laughs> was it good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hello, hello guys, so I'm here with Brother Satander Vite uh, from Indiana Bible College and he's gonna be giving us a tour and I'm here with Evelyn, Rosie, and Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm 17. I so you got a, you have one more year? Yeah, th this is my junior year junior. and then next year is okay. my uh, senior year. This is the college of the Yeah, yeah. I came here yesterday. Oh, you, you drove around here yesterday? Yeah. Well, oh, the entrance is this way? There's two. There's one over here and one over ah, here. This okay. is the one that's open right now. Okay. This this red brick buildings, that's the, the, the men's dorms. That's, so that's where you're going to be staying. All boys stay over here. Wow. And they have to walk here for classes every day. So this is this is the, the, the dorms for the boys' dorms. Yeah. So there are about 150, over 100 young men that stay here so it's locked so they, they're gonna they're gonna, gonna give you a code to uh, so, drive in right so uh, every student has to share a room with about three four students so it's like you got roommates you you, you won't have your own room but uh, you have to make sacrifices too <laughs> because you're not going to vacation where you're gonna have your uh, five-star hotel right. it's you're sacrifi sacrificing for the word of God uh, this is the ladies dorm and only ladies stay here, so they're all separate. This is the chapel. We're gonna go inside from the, the other side, but this is the chapel. Uh, if you watch Facebook Live chapel services, that's where it's happening inside this this wow. building over here. And there's a walk-in side. This is the outside view. Recently, we uh, went to Vente Apostolica in Bolivia. The missionary that was driving us around, he graduated from here. From IBC, wow. Yeah, my brother, Ding. <laughs> On the lobby, business lobby. Estas son las oficinas del Pastor Mooney. Uh, no, no sé si ustedes saben escuchar Pastor Mooney. El Pastor Mooney es el, uh, el asistente hermano Bernard. 
por el lado este de Estados Unidos. So, él es Assistant Superintendent uh, for the UPCI. Y él ha estado en el ministerio del UPCI por 40 años. So, uh, he's got a lot of ministry experience. So, la iglesia, el Calvario, the Calvary Church, which is mm -hmm. not the one we were, but the English portion of that, is the church that's been sponsoring this college. So, the church pays a lot of the bills for the college. So, every student that comes here gets a scholarship from the church uh, because they, they put a lot of money into this. It's, it's one of the most inf uh, influential church in the UPCI because of its stand for doctrine and for holiness and for baptism in Jesus' name. We're very strong in that. The college is very strong in that. Uh, the office, so the front office, uh, Brother Rodenbush, the uh, vice president of the college's office is there. Uh, so whenever you call, that's where they'll take your calls. And if you need somebody to speak Spanish, they, they will probably forward you to my office and <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be talking to you. Uh, cuando llegas en ese día, a comenzar tus, tus clases, van a estar en una aula grande y todo el mundo se va a estar registrando por clases ahí. Pero ya después de eso, esta es la oficina que le llaman The Registered Office y aquí es donde vienes y haces todos tus arreglos por tu horario de clases. Esta, estas oficinas de ahí son las oficinas de promociones. That's where I work, in that, those offices over there. Um, esta oficina de aquí es la oficina de estudios bíblicos y teología. So, si tu carrera va a ser en, en, en teología, el a profesor que está encargado de ese departamento, él va a ser tu consejero. And you, you're going to come, he'll tell you what class you need to take, all that stuff. Yo me gradué en teología, so th this is my favorite program, my favorite. <laughs> y esta es la oficina de tu secretaria, al uh, área de, de recreación. This is one of the classrooms. Always, always these classes are full. Cool. Yeah, like you have, like there's no place to sit. The first day of class, especially people are like just standing on the sides because it's full. Está lleno de de clases y jóvenes su edad. Like this, this, there's not all people like me here. We have a Spanish program uh, at night time where there's all kinds of ministers that come in español. Pero en el día todo es obviously in English y jóvenes de su edad de todo Estados Unidos from all over the United States. So, aquí vas a conocer jóvenes de Alaska, de uh, Oregon, California, Texas, de Indiana, de donde quiera. Esto es muy bonito porque aquí puedes encontrar a tu esposa. Oh. <laughs> o oh, tu esposa. No. <laughs> I don't want to get married. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Muchos vienen al colegio y se casan. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. De la gente que se está graduando ahorita, como cuatro o cinco se encontraban a su esposo o a su esposa. Oh, man. So, a lot of people get married at Bible College. Evelyn's gonna get married. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Espero que el que encuentras, encuentras aquí, tiene un llamado al ministerio también. Y tomó el esfuerzo de venir al colegio bíblico también. Oh, oh, from the very beginning, 1990 was the first class. One person graduated. And you can see the growth. <laughs> wow. But there's a lot of people that are UPCI leaders now. So, you can, you can see how the classes started growing and growing and growing. This is mine, so let's see if, uh, here I am. Mi año de graduación, 2016. How old do you have to be to come here? Yeah, uh, is there a specific age yeah, range? There, there, you have to be a high school uh, graduate. Oh. You have to have a high school diploma. You can, you can be 40 and still come. I was 38 years old when I came. Mm. So these are shirts uh, that every class creates. Uh, so every class has their own shirt. Esta es la oficina de the finances, so ahí donde vienes y pagas tu, you pay your bills. You, so you pay for everything, so your, your fee includes your classes, your food, and your room. It's about $8,000 per year, but it includes everything. Right. No. This is the campus pastor's office. Igual que como en la iglesia tienes un pastor, so cuando vienes al colegio bíblico, you have a pastor over here. He's in charge of all the youth. Y este es la oficina del pastor. Todas las semanas, dos, dos veces por semana, tienes lo que le llamamos nosotros en español iglesia. So you have chapel services. A las 10, a las 10 de la mañana, there are chapel services. Tú vas a mirar el pastor siempre ahí, por lo, por lo regular siempre él está predicando. Siempre está predicando, pero los jóvenes también predican. Wow. Okay, yeah. Y aquí es donde, uh, donde uh, pasan el tiempo en, en, entre clases, cuando no tienes clase, aquí están estudiando, tomando café, I don't know, whatever they do. And ping pong table, uh, more ladies' dorms upstairs. So, uh, and this is the way to chapel. 
Aquí están desarrollando un área de grabación. Wow. Uh, todo esto son estudios de grabación. Ahí, ahí vi que decía drum lessons, dan como yeah, lecciones. Sí, yeah, there's all kinds of uh, instrument lessons. Guitar, drums, piano, organ, singing, all kinds of things. So when people come to live on campus, do they usually get a job around here? Yes, right. that's, that's uh, probably what most people do. Right. So every chapel, you've probably seen it on Facebook Live, it's almost like 300 students here. So it's really full. Lo que es interesante del Colegio Bíblico es que todos los estudiantes, si eres llamado a predicar, you're going to have to preach here at one point. So mm -hmm. es parte de tu, de tu educación. Tienes, te, van a, te van a dar la oportunidad de predicar. So you're going you're to have to get ready for that. Mm -hmm. Si tu llamado es líder de alabanza o tu, tu carrera es en, 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 en la música, you're going to have to lead worship at one point. Pero no tienes que asustarte porque tiene, te van a preparar para eso. You're going to be prepared mm -hmm. for that. So you'll, you'll feel confident. Uh, la razón por la que tenemos iglesia en colegio bíblico es que porque somos apostólicos y parte del ministerio no solo es predicar y no solo es conocer la palabra de Dios, pero es la práctica de la palabra de Dios. Y parte de eso es cada vez que vas a predicar, si tú tienes tu propia iglesia, you're going to have a service. And that's where you're usually going to preach the word. And people are going to respond to the word of God. And you have to be able to know how to minister in, in a pulpit setting. Y también porque lo que aprendes en el salón tiene que ser revelado por el Espíritu Santo. La revelación viene en un ambiente de adoración y alabanza. That's where the revelation happens. Wow. So, si tú estás en, el, en, en tu aula estudiando y puedes leer muchos libros, pero si no hay revelación, it doesn't help. There, there has to be revelation. So that's why we have chapel services to 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 support that it's it's balanced yeah it's grupos the musica and you've probably seen them everywhere but they travel por todos Estados Unidos they, they go to the churches and minister there y para ser parte de esos grupos todo mundo puede ser parte de esos grupos pero para ser parte de esos tienes que calificar para eso so you have to you, uh, audition yeah you have to audition for for whatever instrument you're playing or if you want to sing you have to audition for for singing y solo escogen a los mejores. Right. Mejores, mejores, mejores. <laughs> so it's, that's how they do it. Si, si cualificas para eso, eso también te puede ayudar para tu, uh, to pay your bill. Do you have to be able to like read music? To, to be part of the music program, probably not. But you would have to read music, you know, to graduate. So they're going to teach you how to do all that. Stuff. Si no sabes leer las notas musicales, tal vez puedes enrolarte en la carrera de música. Pero cuando te gradúes, cuando termines, Tienes que saber todo eso, vas a aprender todo eso. Pero la música es una de las más carreras más difíciles porque hay mucho, mucho práctica técnica. Tienes que saber hacer muchas cosas que uh, uh, son laboriosas. Pero si eres dedicado y si eso es tu ministerio, you're going to be able to make it. You know, because it, it's hard work, but you're going to stick with it. Uh, publicamos una revista. Esta es la revista del Colegio Bíblico. BC Perspectives. So, el, el pastor siempre imprime un, un mensaje ahí. Pero tú puedes leer de varias cosas que están sucediendo en el Colegio Bíblico. And all you have to do is go online and give your email and, and then register, register and they will send you a magazine to your home. And it's free. <laughs> Ricky habla español también. Hey, Ricky. Hola. Uh, parte del costo del colegio bíblico incluye comer aquí. Comes tres veces al día desde la mañana, tu desayuno, tu comida y tu cena aquí. Everybody comes uh, in between classes. So there's a certain time that you, you are supposed to camp. Aunque tienes clases, todo el tiempo siempre te dan tiempo para venir a... That's it. This is the kitchen. Algo favorito de todos es que el día viernes tienen chicken finger and ice cream and everybody likes that. <laughs> Donde aprendes lo que es la teoría de la música. So you're asking about how to read music and all that stuff. This is this is where it happens. You can see the board. It's yeah. exactly like a music music sheet. Ahí están todos los CDs que han grabado. Yo tengo el CD más reciente, creo. Ese es el CD que tengo en mi carro. Uh, practice areas. Oh, just to give you an idea. Uh, just to give you an idea. People practice about like six hours a day for, for music. Like piano, you have to practice a lot. Wow. A lot, a lot, a lot. 
So this is the music office, uh, some of the CDs. Ah, no sé si ustedes se han dado cuenta, pero IBC es, tiene mucha influencia a través de la música. Uh -huh. Es uno de los más programas de música reconocidos en Estados Unidos y probablemente en el mundo. Para terminar con nuestra conversación sobre el colegio bíblico, what you have to understand, lo que tienes que entender, este no es un colegio secular. Es un colegio para aquellos que están llamados al ministerio. Cuando vienes aquí vas a aprender a lo más que se pueda de la palabra de Dios para que puedas salir a predicar para que puedas salir a ministrar. Si eres una dama, tal vez tu llamado es al ministerio, ¿verdad? Y tú probablemente esperas que tu esposo va a ser llamado al ministerio y que juntos van a levantar o van a empujar una obra hacia adelante. Hoy yo podría asumir que esa es la mente de las, de las damas que vienen y de los jóvenes que vienen. Por ejemplo, si tú sientes que el ministerio no es tu llamado, todavía puedes venir al colegio bíblico para conocer la palabra de Dios, todo eso. Pero si quieres, por ejemplo, tener una carrera profesional, then, probablemente necesitas ir al, al colegio secular, ¿verdad? Pero si tienes una pasión, un llamado por el Evangelio, este es el lugar perfecto para venir. Porque aquí es donde Dios forma, moldea, expande las visiones, los corazones de los jóvenes. Y queremos, aquí en el colegio bíblico, alcanzar el mayor número de jóvenes bilingües como ustedes. Porque el Evangelio necesita ser predicado en ambos lenguajes. Y necesitamos preparar a los jóvenes como ustedes para que, que lleven a la generación hispana al siguiente nivel, ¿verdad? Que no se pierda la doctrina. Amen. So, if you have a calling, this is the place to be. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. God okay. bless you. Amen. El Señor de Dios. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. This is going to be the end of the vlog. And I'm just excited to see what God is going to do in these coming weeks and months and years and this time. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. God bless you guys. Please subscribe, like, comment, tell me how I did on this second vlog or whichever one it is.